Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State of Tech, and today is Thursday, so Android Tip Day, and we're going to talk about backing up your device. Now, backing up your device is extremely important for many reasons. Obviously, we have a lot of our important data on our devices, and we don't want to lose that data. We want it to be safe. And when you set up your phone for the first time, typically it, it asks you to enable backup and all of that stuff. But if you're not sure, if you want to be 100% sure that you are backing everything up, here's how you do it. So I have two devices here. I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is uh, James's. He's here in our office. And then I also have a Nexus 5X that is running Android 7.0. Uh, the process is no different. The only reason I have two different devices here is because with Samsung, Samsung also has their own uh, kind of backup. It's been called S Cloud in the past. I don't really know what they call it these days, but they back up some data. And then also Google with, um, with your Android operating system backs up some data. So let's take a look at the Samsung device first. So this is James's phone and we're going to go into our settings here. So we'll go and tap on settings. And so the first thing you're going to want to make sure you have enabled is your Samsung account. So you want to go into accounts and this may look a little bit different depending on what Samsung device or maybe you're on an LG or a Motorola or any other device. Um, uh, some of them have their own backup along with Google's backup as well. So with the Samsung devices, you just get kind of like double the backup, which to me is totally fine. So you want to go and make sure that you have Samsung account listed in your accounts. If you don't, you can tap on add account and then scroll down uh, and add a Samsung account. But it, up there it is up at the top, actually. Tap on Samsung account and add that account. Once it's added, you'll have your profile here and you can tap on your email address to see which information is being backed up to Samsung. You can see the available options here based on which Samsung apps and stuff I have running on, my, on this device here is calendars, contacts, internet, and keyboard data. So you can toggle those on and off uh, according to what you want backed up. Now, the majority of us that log in with our Google account and use Google Calendar and all that stuff, like that stuff's all going to be backed up to Google anyways. So Samsung is just kind of like an additional layer and same with LG and any of the other manufacturers out there, uh, phone manufacturers that have their own backup. All right, so let's get out of Samsung here and go, uh, we'll swipe a couple of screens over to backup and reset. Backup and reset is the is the, the settings page here that has the backup information for your Google account. And that's gonna be the same on all of these devices. So you can see here under Google account, um, right here it says backup my data turned on and it shows backup account and then automatic restore. Those are our three options that we have here. So you wanna make sure backup your data is turned on uh, because it's basically gonna be backing up your data whenever your phone is at rest. So when your phone is uh, at rest, it will start to back up your data, maybe when it's plugged into power, um, Nobody really knows when it's being backed up. It just is backing up in the background. And then your backup account here, you can add additional backup accounts, um, but you want to make sure that your main Google account that you use is the one that's logged in here. I would recommend making sure that it's the same account that you use to purchase apps. So the same account that you are logged into for um, the Google Play Store. It's best just to kind of have that all under the same uh, kind of the same email account, in my opinion. Um, and then automatic restore. What automatic restore allows you to do is make this backup available for an automatic restore. So when you restore your phone, or maybe you get a new phone, a new Android phone, and you log into Google, your Google account, when you're setting up that phone, it's going to give you the option to restore data from this particular phone. And that's a great feature because then it will download your apps and sync your data and everything over. And it's fantastic. And it doesn't matter whether you're going from a Samsung to a uh, Nexus 5X or an LG or a Motorola or whatever, any of those phones you're going to be able to sync across them and have your apps at least be downloaded so you don't have to go through that manual process over again. So let's go ahead and take a look at this on the 5X. So we'll scroll down here. 
Keep in mind this is Android 7.0, which is a new version, so it does slightly look a little bit different, but it is the same process for backing up and reset. So we'll tap on backup and reset. You can see backup my data is turned on. I have my account enabled in there and I have automatic restore enabled as well. Uh, and it's the same process that we just walked through on the Samsung device. And on most other devices, it's the same process as well. As long as it is running in a version of Android, uh, it's gonna have this backup and reset section for you to toggle that on. Now you wanna make sure that this is enabled. One additional measure is to go into your accounts. So go into your accounts and tap on Google and then tap on the email address for the account. And you'll wanna make sure that your data is being synced. Now you don't have to sync all data. You'll notice I had a couple of items toggled on and a couple of items toggled off here. But you'll wanna make sure that your data is syncing because it's not only is it gonna sync this data from when you're using a web browser, maybe you, know, you access your calendar and make a change to your calendar through a web browser um, or a tablet, but then if you make changes to your calendar or something like that on your phone, you wanna make sure that that data is being synced back and forth. That's part of the backup process. So as you're here in the sync section, you wanna make sure that the appropriate toggles are turned on for syncing so that you're syncing the data that you want synced to your uh, Google account. And then when you go to get a new phone or maybe you, you, know, you have to restore this phone for whatever reason, when you log back in, all of these toggles will be correctly turned on or off, and that data will be pulled over automatically through that restore process that you'll walk through at the beginning of setting up your device. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool that they have this. Um, obviously, there's you know a, a pretty solid backup process on an iPhone too, so most of these devices all have a really good backup solution. But on Android, it's just there's there's so many different devices and the setup process is different, whether you bought an unlocked phone or an AT&T or a Verizon or whatever. So you just wanna make sure that the, during the process of setting up your phone initially, that you have it set up correctly. And one last thought, I know a lot of people have their phone set up for them at the store when they buy the phone. And some people, at these salespeople at the stores, will take the time to set it up appropriately other people will just hit the skip, 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 skip button to get you onto the home screen and say that your phone is set up because it's making and receiving phone calls as fast as possible. So you definitely wanna make sure that your backup is set up appropriately. So if you have any questions about this, ask them in the comment section below for sure. We'll do our best to answer them. And subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Uh, you'll get notified when we put out new videos, which right now we're doing five days a week putting out content for you guys. So make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for checking out State of Tech and we hope to see you next time.